I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, and you grow up in Baltimore, and you can't help but hear about this giant named Freeman Rabowski. He talked about what this country can be and what we owe to our kids. By the time I finally met Freeman, I said, every time I hear you speak, it makes me want to be a better person. Freeman is a bold visionary. He took over a college that many people saw as second tier. And today, they see as one of the premier jewels in the state system. And when it comes to educating students who go into STEM-related fields, they're among the best in the country. And when it comes to sending students of color into STEM-related fields, they're clearly one of the best in the world. At Urban, Freeman has given us three huge gifts. One is the gift of an innovator. Second, he is a listener, and he has taught us how to listen to all of our constituents. And third, he is a fabulous and natural leader. When I think about Freeman, the thing that most strikes me is his relentless belief in other people. Freeman believes in asking a lot of the people around him and then giving them the tools and the confidence to accomplish that ambitious agenda. And it's a deeply authentic belief that makes you want to do everything you can to live up to what he has told you he thinks of you. Hey there, how are you? Hello, how are you? I visited with Freeman, walked around his campus with him. I don't know how many other university presidents would know their students by name. What is the limit and why do we use it? And you don't have to answer it now, but send me a paragraph. What does it mean to talk about the limit? Freeman will call a student over and tell the student, this is Dr. Thomas, tell him what you did this summer. Where did you work last summer? I did an internship at Georgia Tech. At the same time, he's this figure on the world stage of higher education. Some people justifiably have said that he is the best university president in the country. You walk with him around the campus of UMBC and the man will stop and pick up litter. That's leadership and, and service. How many hours are you studying for day and night? What would you say? The same inspiration and mentorship that I had when I was 17, I still have now. So really, I am what I am today, a physician and a scientist with an MD and PhD because Dr. Rabowski planted that seed. I wouldn't be who I am if it weren't for Doc. Since I was an undergrad, I've heard that I would become a force of nature and change the world. These ideas that almost seemed absurd, <laughs> but because of those narratives, when the failures come, you have a story that allows you to push through that. The failures become process when you have someone nurturing you and telling you that you're going to be great. If you look at the graduates from UMBC that have gone on to do incredible things throughout the nation, you can see there's this exponential effect occurring. And more than just what they're doing, they're training and educating others as well. And so we're going to see for years to come the impact that Freeman is having on the nation and on the world. The foundation of Dr. Bowski's leadership really does come from his work as a child of the civil rights movement. I think that experience taught him that one should put one's efforts into issues and problems where the stakes really are high. You can see that sense of purpose infusing everything that he does, whether it's on the UMBC campus or whether it's at an Urban Institute meeting. The civil rights struggle was a time when black people dared to say, we are great and we deserve every opportunity. And every day, he makes those kinds of opportunities for people from Baltimore like me and people around the world. It's funny to think of him as a little boy in Alabama to the giant I know in Baltimore County. Freeman has literally been there providing a guiding force, not only as my development as a scientist, but my development as an African American, as my development as a man. What Freeman has taught me is the importance of staying invested and connecting and believing in people. Well, let's put it this way. In different aspects of my life, I've always tried to identify a body of work by an individual where if someone said, your work reminds me of X. So when it comes to being a college president, if when I'm done doing this, someone said to me, what you did reminds me of what Freeman Rabowski did, then I would know I was a success. Mm -hmm.